Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Sky Terrors Day Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue there. Uh, we're What's playing up, everybody? a game called Sky Terror made by PvP Geeks out of Italy. This is a game we discovered last year. If you haven't seen this game, you should. It is inspired by the MOBA game format on like computers. I sound like an old person. <laughs> They run about the of, of, of game. <laughs> uh, on the table, it's got it's my boot drive. You know, uh, it's a it's a phenomenal uh, game. So if you're familiar with the MOBA uh, genre, it's it, one of the greatest that. formats of competitive play that has ever existed. It has existed in various forms throughout uh, human history, I would say. Uh, but the long story short is, you've got a base, I've got a base, we've got troops that are going out to fight for us. And we control heroes to uh, push those troops into our opponent's base. Very simple. Some would say it's classic warfare, ultimately. And the, the general theme is uh, one of my favorites, too. It's, it's somewhat elemental. So there's four main uh, factions. Uh, one is blue, it's water and ice. One's red, which is fire and lava. One's uh, yellow, which is like uh, light Desert. and air. And air, yeah. And then one is green, which is earth <laughs> and rocks. <laughs> And uh, things that don't move are stability. Get, yeah, just foundation, rugged. <laughs> <laughs> really selling green yeah. here. Uh, I gotta tell you. I, I mean, can't you know wait. what's you know what's crazy though is that there are people li probably watching right now. Oh, Jonathan's one of them. That when I explained that, they were yeah. like, "Ooh, I like olives too." It's like, the people <laughs> who would say that the best offense is not a good defense. It's it, in fact a good defense. The the, the best. Uh, anything is just staying put. Where the best defense is a good offense? No, yeah. the best defense is a good defense. It's Anyways, uh, if you've been playing for a while, I'm pretty excited. We're, we're getting the Silent Ambassador uh, Outsider. We have the little expansion boxes here. Cute little guys, <laughs> huh? They are. They're really cute. Uh, so this actually originally came out as part of... The game launched as a Kickstarter up front. And it was one of the like kind of exclusive things that you you could get on the Kickstarter in some uh, I don't even know how it's a lower Kick, Kickstarter e weird way you know what I mean. Um, but they originally were going to release these as like organized play things you could win basically and give a lot more access to these cards or the this this outsider. So we're going to be playing with it today. It is currently on our website, available for pre-order. We're not sending it through a subscription. It's important to understand that if you are a subscriber, uh, specifically because it's a, only a kind of new release, there's definitely subscribers that were a part of the Kickstarter that wouldn't want it, and so we didn't want to just charge everyone and send it uh, knowing that some people wouldn't want it. If you are a subscriber, you should have received an email about that. You can still pre-order it on the website for the next couple weeks. We're going to be shipping those out. I think those are expected to be out later this month. So... Um, if you want to get that, I would hop on the website and make that happen. It's like twelve fifty or something for the, for the expansion. Uh, anyways, so that said, I was supposed to say something. Yeah, wasn't I, I started here. looking at the he yeah, this hero again. I, I had forgotten that she's got that long world. shot, man. Remember you exist. sniped me from across the board. So um, the new expansions came out in Key Four of last year, which we played on stream, and then we took a holiday break, and then I came back and streamed solo that next week, and. It, PvP Geeks has recently released um, a solo mode for this game, and it was super fun. I streamed that. If you're interested in the solo version of this game, check out that stream. Um, I, I I literally learned how to play on on camera, which has its own hazards. Uh, <laughs> but it was kind of cool because I had the rules document up, and it was a Google document. And as I was playing, Jackmo was doing clarifications on the document and like changing things. And I would be like, ah, cool. it's reading like this. I'm not sure. And so he was doing it. Uh, but they just literally, I think today, released a new hero that you can uh, play against as one of the options. And I had a really good time with it. It was a, it was a really um, fast-paced, fun experience, uh, way to experience this game. So if you haven't seen that, do that. That was the last time I played was against that that solo mode. Um, Hopefully but, I'm a little bit better than that. But well, you know, it's not guaranteed. I won't say whether I want to blue. But... What a deep blue? Was not that the computer that beat uh, Kasparov or whatever? Is it called Deep Blue or Big Blue? <laughs> not Big Blue. It's not <laughs> Big Blue. Deep Blue or, or Code Red? I, I can't remember what it was, but uh, yeah, it's, it's purple. Famous. It's famous something? enough for me to um, not know. So the thing is, uh, as I was getting ready for the stream, on you can see on the table right now, it, it's madness um, because it's I I built the deck for the solo uh, experience, and that was its own thing. But Steve and I need to build some decks so that we can actually play again with the the out the new outsider. So the first part of the stream is going to be us looking at cards and, and building decks again. 
then we're going to play and we'll see what time it is and where we go from there. But I assume that'll be the stream. Hey, shout out to uh, Joe Phillips here. He said, this is a really odd direction for Ashes Wednesday to take, but Zach now has me intrigued with a fire faction. And then, Joe, you would later say, well, since I'm already here, I'm going to stick around. So uh, welcome to the welcome to Sky Terror, Joe. You, you, you got to get into it. You got to get, especially, honestly, maybe we did this on purpose, but there's something about the aesthetic and the game. We talked about it on the podcast today, too. The aesthetic and the gameplay and the appeal of Ashes and Sky Terror are in a surprisingly similar pocket yeah. uh, with how they're kind of being handled. So, Joe, if you like, if you like Ashes, stick around, take a look. If you're looking for a little bit of that tangible miniatures feel in, in a game without being like a full-blown make your stuff and put it together and have chunky armies moving around a board, a lighter kind of skirmish style thing with objectives, uh, beautifully balanced gameplay, incredible decision making. It's a phenomenal game. So stick around. We're going to do some deck building. So like as an Ashes player, you'll probably get it. Uh, that might be an interesting part of, of the experience for you. And then uh, we'll get a game in. Yep. and actually see uh, who can push whose towers down or otherwise win the game through objectives. And if you're a new player uh, and you've never heard of this game, this really is not going to be the best place to start, but you're welcome. And you can ask questions, and we're happy to answer them. There's only I'm just a thousand into other a deck videos from session. us about that, yeah. Yeah, I'm picking and walking. We did, a, we did one video that was kind of an overview, but one of the ups and downsides of PvP is that they move at the speed of sound. They do. Uh, at the um, speed of Italian brothers. That's man. right. I mean, there's nothing faster than two Italian brothers. I mean, it's Mario a, and Luigi, an old... dude. <laughs> Come on now. It's, it's a cool... It is, that's right. We grew up knowing this. I was doing speed runs of Mario yeah, back as a kid. They're just booking it, man. They're doing all the... So all the tools are being designed. Um, the solo mode came out of nowhere. <laughs> the Discord is popping. They've got a new organized play program that I is mean, actually being run by our own Eric Wainwright from here in Tulsa. That's right. Did he's you know the that? new OP director. And that's a good thing because he's one of the smartest guys I know. Uh, smarter than anybody in this building. And then you also <laughs> you have... You know, I would be offended <laughs> by that if I didn't know how smart <laughs> Eric was. <laughs> you also have the actual proper solo game called Sky Terror Adventures. Is that right? What is it? Sky Terror uh, Moments in Time? Tactics? Mm. Isn't it like uh, armies or hordes or... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, well, someone's on the chat that knows. Uh, but it's actually coming uh, to the world proper here this year sometime. And it's it's like a standalone Sky Terror experience. You can use all your models from this game to play that one. And it's going to be like... I think, and I don't know that this is true, but I think they're following in the footsteps of like Battle.net and Warcraft 3 and, and StarCraft and those. I think it'll feel like a campaign where you're like moving through missions and like trying to do them against an AI. And, and if it's that... I'm all aboard, I'm man. I, you know what? I really would enjoy a cooperative experience in this universe. Like if we were like facing a challenge... Against a, ch a singular challenge? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I, I would be... Yeah. And a solo game is inherently a cooperative. I mean, you could bring another person into that easy, even if it's just controlling mm -hmm. a different part mm -hmm. of the solo mode or something. Yeah, well, you know, like in uh, the one of the cool things about the game is they also have the multiplayer formats. So you can do 2v2, 3v3. Yeah. So you can technically do two versus the, the game engine, and it would work out similarly. You and I on a 2v2? That'd be awesome. That'd be so much fun. I would have so much fun at that. Eric event. may be smart, but we would wreck him. I assume uh, him Eric and Tim and Tim would we would, would wreck them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they they wouldn't stand a chance. I agree. Not a challenge. Yeah, our combined might is really. <laughs> <laughs> it is called Sky Terror Horde. Thank you for that, Joseph Martin Defoe here saying I'm going to order my own copy because of your streams. Looking forward to solo. Loved your podcast with PVP Geeks. That's great, Martin. You will not regret it. Get on that deal. Also worth noting, I'm going on a podcast. I think tomorrow Ooh. with the old Quackalope folks. Nice. The what are you guys going to talk about? Well. Maybe you don't know yet. Half ducks and half uh, sky tear. They really do a lot of duck stuff. I looked on their uh, YouTube <laughs> channel. They have like their, it's like a quack pack or something. I don't know. It's like, um, what do you call a group of ducks? School? That's fish. Um, uh, I call them the flock? mighty ducks. Like a... I, it's birds, so it's got to be a flock, right? A flock of ducks, but that doesn't seem right. I think it's a, it's something more... Anyway, they play off of that, and they're like, hey, all of our YouTube subscribers are like our, our mm. flock or something, and they, they really get into it. But they're pretty popular. The channel do board game, high-quality board game stuff. Nice. A lot of really great um, visuals. You know, they have good equipment and stuff. Et cetera, et cetera. But all that to say, we're going to be talking about Sky Tear the whole time. Um, That's awesome. And one of their little series is like the what what have you what's undiscovered that needs to be discovered. Oh, Sky Tear's on that list. I suggested yeah. Sky Tear. Jesse uh, took me up on the offer and said, "All right, let's talk about Sky Tear." Have on they the played Quackalope it? Podcast. I think so. I, I honestly I don't know. I'm going in blind, man. All right. 
I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. It's a uh, podcast? Yes. All right. Yeah, Quackalope is what, it, what it's called. You want to look them up? They got a website. It's pretty <laughs> nice. They're kind of like, uh, you know, they're in the shut up and sit down lane, um, but not as like overtly British and humorous. Uh, but, okay. But more like... I uh, mean, I, I think that Quinn's is funny. I could also see people, <laughs> like, why that humor would not appeal to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a, it's a certain style, and sure. I, I totally appreciate it. So, if it's less that, then people might be really interested in... Some people might like that the, more. You know, yeah. the, the eight people that don't like Shut Up and Sit Because, you know, Quinn's is such a firebrand. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. He, he is kind of feisty. I know, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, things... Uh... Uh, so David Vedder says it's a raft, or perhaps a quack. Anybody out there watch uh, that? He YouTube said a channel? paddling of ducks. Yeah, the paddle. They call it a paddle. There it is. So, welcome to our paddle or whatever. Well, you know, it's just a little. You know, it's a little. It's pressing the gas a little much for me on the shtick side, but I think I mean, it's we could we can lean into the phoenix. Uh, <laughs> what do you call a, what? what do you call a pack of phoenix? <laughs> Nobody has ever had to discover what that name yeah. is. They don't run in packs. That's the thing. It's like the legendary birds in Pokemon. Min March says, Quackalope was one of my favorite board game channels. See, look at your marketing director just wrecking. Mm. I'm about to get us so much exposure. And then Nathan Lewis says, Quackalope video production is really good. Like watching their videos to find out about new games. Dysphoria saying, I watch their YouTube channel. So there you go. Listen to the podcast. I'll be there. You can hear this voice saying about the exact same things you've always heard in a new and exciting uh, lane. Brett saying, if a pack of phoenixes isn't called a burn, I'm out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's up? Look at that burn. Hundred <laughs> percent. What is it? Doesn't uh, don't don't these influencers do that too? Isn't there a what's an influencer? What's a what's a follower of PewDiePie called? Oh man, a lot of I good know, jokes there. So a, a lot of uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I opted out of saying anything. Um, <laughs> Use my better judgment, I think there. But the a lot of it, content creators will have a name for their audience. Yeah, you know. Does Gary Vee do that? Didn't he have? A, I think it's a like Vayner Nation. Or Vayner something? Nation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what you. What would up, do. Vayner Nation? Et cetera, et cetera. David Vegel saying, Stephen, what's on your shirt? Uh, people on various surfboards in various compositions. To me, it looks like the same dude on the surfboard. No, no, it's both dudes and non-dudes on these boards. <laughs> um, and look, you know, you got a hang tin. You've got a. Mm -hmm. You've got a front of the Looking board chill. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's because I'm such an avid surfer, I feel like I need to really let the world know that it's my passion. You ever been surfing? Uh, yes, I have once. Hey, we've Let's... got Ops rolling in, testing out the drink menu. What a good day. It's Wednesday. What are we drinking today? Beautiful, guys. A daiquiri. A classic I, daiquiri. I love daiquiris. This is the number one. I didn't know me. I loved them until this stream. So we're, <laughs> we're actively working towards opening what we're calling 3.0 of our store, our local store here in Tulsa. And part of that effort is uh, potentially going to involve serving cocktails. So we are doing the uh, difficult work of experimenting and testing. We're really the taste testers of the ops. It's tough life. Uh, figuring that out. It's but a yeah, tough life. This looks delicious. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers indeed. Cheers to everyone my, here. Uh, cheers to great games. Cheers. And better people. Cheers. Like, people need to be better or... No. Oh, they're better than the games. I got it. There it is. Yeah. It. Better See, than great. My comments are compliments complimentary whereas you have underhanded burns oh come on david Just, vegetal asking what's the eta of said store well this what's the eta of the end of the pandemic this year is you tell me this. We are. we're looking right now at various places and we um, got the model pretty well established i think at this point you know that was my project <laughs> i did that uh, i did the beginning of you it. know hopefully this year my i, I think good. that's that's the official answer but any more, given the state of the world and just tabletop in general, I'm just leery to promise anything. Yeah. It just makes me, it's like, I don't want to ever have to write the email that is me saying, sorry. We'll promise happen. that it will happen as soon as is feasible and it will be better than you expect. Hmm. You awesome. know what? I promise that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so you're over here like in, in all sorts of weird things. You, you want to give me a top down just what, so people can see what I'm working with? What I'm going to do Look is... Look at this. <laughs> I'm going to do a... Uh, wow, that looks awkward, doesn't it? Did That's you fine. design this? I wasn't looking at the camera. Oh. I just put the board down. Who needs a camera when you can just freewheel it? Um, so I'm going to be doing a, 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 a rapid deck building session. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to test my, uh, keep going on my concept of how to quickly build a deck. Okay. Well, that's uh, good because I'll build a deck quickly anyway. But I'm going to need some cards that you have. So 
we only have one of the expansions, but what I do have, check this out. Our friends over at PvP Geeks sent us and some the Italian of versions. the, no, better, sort of. Full art? Full art promos in English, but they don't have the text box. Oh, I don't need a text box. So I only need one card, that Whisper, the one that gives you an instant shapeshift. Is, do you know what it does? Gives Here's you an instant shapeshift. Look shift. at these things. They look great. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Where did those come from? How did I mean you said that, but how do we get so them? There's organized play kits that they sell. Obviously, the world's in a weird place, so I think normally they would sell these to like just stores. Mm -hmm. But right now, I think you can just buy them on their website to host events if you want, or just to get all the stuff if you don't want to deal with that. Okay. Cool. But, but yeah, this, the, this is the, all I need. They look great. Yeah. This is my like, let's go. Inui. Dysphoria, by the way, on your promise is saying, I don't know, my expectations are really high right now. Yeah, but we'll beat them. Martin, I love this, saying, keep one cocktail seat open for me. I got to buy a ticket from Germany to the States first, though. That card is so good. It is so good. Do you need one for reference? No, it, you just make a worship action anywhere on the board, yeah. right? I'm going to also use it. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going red, yellow, you're going blue, yellow, which will be a fun... Yeah, no, no, but we don't like green. Um, so what I will say, uh, Keith... Was it Keith? No, Martin. <laughs> I know Keith Martin. That's yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. My neighbor. Uh, if you're out there, Keith, hope you're doing well. Um, but there's a ton of people that I think you're going to be visiting after we open. And I think it'll be somewhat close to when the pandemic is really truly behind us. So that first two or three months we're open is going to be... I'm so excited about that phase of time. And just literally playing games until I cannot play games ever again. We'll just die in that store. Maybe. That's if that's what you mean. Slightly weird to think about and in the real level. <laughs> yeah, well I don't necessarily want to be buried there, but I will hopefully spend a lot of time if if things work out like we're thinking they might. Um all right, so here's the question is do I really have the uh misplaced courage to run Vorhild in a deck that she does not belong in? No. Don't do that. Okay. Although I love that model, but that's that what character. I'm saying. I want to. I want to at least. I want to at least play with the new stuff. You know. Do you cause... do you happen to have a, a spare nightmares incarnate somewhere? I, I'm short one. Not not if you're going to use it. <laughs> that card's mm. great. All right, Vorhild's out. I'm not using it. Now, do I have the? Do I really have the uh, audacity? Using a lot of big words here. To use a oh, list that have a full bleed version. doesn't really have any way of doing damage. Well, you don't have to ever do damage to win the game. Are we going to play that? You know what we need to do? I'm going to open this real quick. Okay. We need to get some context about what this house is right, doing. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's get that. a true unboxing. Nice. On the edge of my seat here. Look at this. You ready? The, my favorite part of it is obviously you get the model, which is great. Ooh. New models are always fun. Yeah. Shall we show it on? You want to deal with that? I want to get to the the stuff. This is very typical. Next one. Tell me what it does. It's a great model. You can't really appreciate that. Nope. It's a miniature. One day we'll invest in like a Zoomed in, hyped up, awesome, insane camera. Yeah. I like it. Maybe All right. it'll just always be on and we can just cut to a third camera that's just zoomed in yeah. to the board. That would be helpful. Like a macro the... lens? Mm. That'd be sick. Just like, Ooh. You want to do that? Uh, Give me the money. First off, it comes with seven copies of The Outsider. Six of which are not in English. Oh, right on. Uh, so it's universal. There, there are seven languages, which is crazy. This is the Silent Ambassador. It's got a ranged attack of three, 18 health, one armor. It's pretty normal. You can place the Silent Ambassador anywhere adjacent to the dome's perimeter. So anywhere along the edge of the dome. Adjacent to the perimeter. Mm -hmm. So any, even, even inside it. That seems adjacent to the perimeter. It doesn't, doesn't say it outside. It just says it adjacent say to the it perimeter. Says adjacent. Okay, so it can go anywhere. The first ability is a wormhole. Swap target hero's position with any other hero's position within four hexes from the Silent Ambassador. Wow. So you, target, target? A hero, you target a hero. You gotta see him. Uh, and then you swap him with any other hero's position within four hexes of the Silent Ambassador. So like if there's a hero here where the blue tower is, and there's a hero within four out here, 
you can do a one, two, three, that's not it. One, two, three, four. So you could swap this one that you can see with this one that's within four. It doesn't say you have to target the thing you're swapping, the second target. The second one just says within. That's incredible. Okay. It's a wormhole. The Makes next sense. ability is called Farsight, which is predict two. Oh, I love that. Then, Always. and this is before you draw. Yeah, this is controlling your draws. Yeah. Then there is Stone Storm. Place the AoE, it's like a brick of four, mm -hmm. within two hexes. Deal one plus, so one plus a flip damage, and apply slow to all enemy heroes hit. Beautiful. And you can predict two and then do an attack. So you can also do no, your standard on three on plus mm -hmm. with a range three. Mm -hmm. And then you've got what? Is it say place the AoE within two so there's no targeting on the AoE? Yeah, so you get this is just a some sort of new god here. Just beautiful. Well, we'll be playing with this today. Oh, Joseph also pointing out you when you're activating the ambassador, they count as a friendly hero. Right. So she can actually swap with the hero herself, which would let her get in range of other weird stuff. That's super cool. Yeah. And you could also like cool. you could block with it. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff to do. You here. could swap your hero into the dome. And she goes out, and then now she can drop an AOE on the stuff that was out yeah, here fighting. Yeah, 100%. That's just cool. Yeah, so there's a weird, cool. weird stuff we can do, but we'll be I'm using in, that I'm outside of today. I'm into it. Uh, just remember that as you're actually starting to build. I'm going to try to do a blue-yellow push list. Okay? All right. I'm here for the party. Okay. Late to the party with you. You still been listening to Casey? Occasionally. Yeah. Uh, Folklore came out. Yeah. And then Evermore, so... My ear earwaves got tied up in Taylor Swiftville. As they often do. Mm -hmm. All right, how do I how do I do this? How do I win? Um you need eight total cards for each hero. They all oh, have a right. I've card. been doing the three I was doing the three mains. Oh you're asking and then, how, the, and then you have one yeah. arsenal person. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do it though. I'm also doing something else a little fancy today. You ready for this? Yeah. They sent us all kinds of goodies. They sent these, which are the Kumaya sleeves. Ooh. Which I'll be using because flames. Are the are the sleeves actually any good? Well, we're about to find out. This is why I'm using them. I gotta let the people know. I like it. Okay. Ooh, I like Fool Me Once. I like all these cards. That's a problem. We are now at the point where there are enough good cards that you can't just, you know. They're all good. I'm looking at every single card. I want to run it. Yep. There are enough good cards that it's a really tough decision. You still listen to Casey? Oh, yeah. Constantly. Still on your loop? Yeah. Hmm. So there's one card that came out that I'm particularly interested in using, and you're going to hate it. Great. Not in like a... Good idea. You're not going to hate it in the same way that you would hate... It won't be max hate, I'll say that. It's called Psychic Vampirism. It won't be max hate. Zero rune. It's quite funny to me. It's a zero rune. Oh, no, I know that thing. But it's a plus two. Yeah. It's a reaction. When the caster damages an enemy with an effect of a power card... Heal the caster for that amount of damage. Yeah, no. you can do weird. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so I hit you for three with something, and I heal three, right? They're really not that crazy. <laughs> this stack is just going to be ridiculous. This for you saying, TC, if we all move to Tulsa, are you hiring? We you know, will be hiring soon. We will be hiring uh, before we open the store. Uh, so stay tuned to that if you're genuinely interested. All Let's right. Face it, it's chasm, right? How about this barring the way card? You ready for this? Show me the way. It's a one resource plus two. When a minion would be spawned within three hexes of the caster, that minion is not spawned instead. Yeah, just no minion, no minions. Now you can't play that during the normal minion spawning phase. So it's just if I have shenanigans that spawn uh, minions. Okay, we'll put this over in the two file. condition. You're not going to play. Come on, there's too many good cards. You're not mm -hmm. going to play them. That's a that's a meta silver bullet card right there. Torres is saying, hey guys, Rodney Smith is live right now, which reminded me I really enjoyed your conversation with him on the podcast. Glad you enjoyed that. What's he doing live? Is he trying to snipe viewers from us? <laughs> What's he playing? I mean, how could you is he possibly doing a Sky Terror stream right now? A, that would be hilarious. With the 
the Canadian Strangler <laughs> with the. What, what, I love Rodney. That's what's, great. What's a good uh, What's a good like uh, wrestler name for Rodney? Who's a famous Canadian wrestler? Smith and Cross. That's funny. The uh, the maple the maple mangler. <laughs> That's pretty good. Actually. The maple mangler is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting into that one. <laughs> the maple mangler is so funny. <laughs> you really uh, achieved peak uh, ah. nickname there. It's so good. Uh, okay. Yes, it's quite funny. Lay to the party. All right. So there's six cards I'm running. How about that? Uh, quick shot's got to be in. So let's just start stacking them up, right? Stack them deep. Sell them this cheap. This is the way. This is the way. Uh, dodge has got to go in. Three, six, seven. Put a doomy in. Then. We're going Vampirism, Whisper. We'll get a one out of there in a second. Then we're going Direct Damage cards. Um, I don't know if anybody could even... I mean, should you try to explain what's happening here? Or should we just... I think we just build and play. Okay. I'm, I'm almost ready for that stage. How, how are you looking? No, I'm feeling good. I'm doing my standard just just in case anybody's following along. I'm, I just like to do uh, choose seven cards and do one of each of those cards on three heroes. That's your core three. So that'll give you a seven card deck, seven card deck, seven card deck. Uh, and then your fourth slot, and you're supposed to have pivot heroes and stuff, but Zach and I just like the game to be played more than we like to build for it a, a bunch. So... Um, then my fourth here, I'm just going to load up with cards that uh, are particularly uh, that I want in this arrangement. Um, Whisper of Nuptin out of three of is is one of those cards. It's so good for all of these heroes. I'm definitely going to three of that one. Um, and I'm also going to try some of the new cards. I'm particularly interested in Sudden Distraction, um, which can be an absolute game winner. And so I'll, I'll probably get that in there. Um, I probably want Strength of the Pack given the way this is going, but I could also just not do damage. Which is, you know, it's not really ever good to do it like that. To be honest with you. <laughs> Might be honest. And I don't think I play Call the Pack here because I think I should be able to win these lead tokens. So the rest of it is basically stay alive. I haven't I played mean, this one. I'm going to play this one. Stay alive is a uh, noble goal. There's four. I've got two more slots here. Let's get some yellow cards, of course. You know me, I can't live without swiftness, so. There's swiftness. Must be, gots to be. I'm, I'm doing some crazy shenanigans with this deck building. This is not scientific. Well, you know, science is limited in its capacity uh, yeah exactly yeah just dog on science okay one one, one. 2020 everybody not a safe time to be dogging on science man not a safe time to be a scientist should i play redirect i i wouldn't <laughs> 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 okay, cool. cool. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, I just don't even bother, right? Yeah, it's no good. I heard it's a bad card. Yeah, definitely not any good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who needs runes anyway, you know? Like for leading and stuff? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's well, a waste of time. Way overrated. I can't, I can't stop playing the, the, the classics. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight with the ultimate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with the ultimate. If you uh, had to tell me roughly whether or not you're running cards that do direct damage, what would your can't tell you? One, two, three, four, but five, if you had to six, tell seven. me, you see, I, I mean, that was I'm, part of the game. I'm running more than zero cards that do direct <laughs> damage. I'll tell you that. And then oh, one, man. two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. And one for spice. I'm giving myself a singular slot. 
A spicy slot? Well, yeah, just a little <laughs> spice. Uh, let's go here. Boom. I'm, I'm, I'm giving a little spice too. I'm great. about to get absolutely wrecked. You think so? Yeah. What made you come to that conclusion? Um, I'm just doing a lot of things that I told myself I'd never do. Well, that's a thing. All right, let's 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 try out these sleeves. They have the nice silver back, which looks great. Like a gorilla. We'll see if it works. Yeah. The leader of the, the tribe. All right. Let's sleeve these. Hmm. They're slidier than I expected. That's good. Got that new sleeve. Yeah, new sleeve smell? Definitely smell, but I'll see. It does, yeah, it kind of has that. Hmm. What's that about? Uh, I'm going to lose because I, I once, I think I'm on the record saying you, you got to have the ability to do damage to something. I think you can win this game never attacking another hero. Well, we may well find out. That's you, the case. you do need to be able to get rid of a lot of minions just in case. That's the thing I think you need to be able to damage. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I've got Eckert for that. You know? I'm going to put in one spicy strength of the pack. Just to bamboozle Zach here once. What up, Jackmo? Jackmo, how are you, man? You're about to see some mid-tier sky tier being played. That's right. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put myself on the low tier. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I like to set the bar low. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like as long as both players are kind of on the same. It's a good time. Same track. It's a great time. It's only whenever like Tim rolls in with his like highly tweaked insane deck and we're like well we've just been playing a fun game of sky tear in yeah. there and i still think we beat him and eric in the 2v2 if we saying. needed to we could absolutely put that together yes yeah it would be it, ruthless if the challenge was thrown down we would rise to the occasion yeah not saying that it is or that it ain't i'd i'd bet money on it bet money bet real money dollary dues well, I'm, would you bet money on... I guess you were already betting on you losing this game. So there is that. Yeah, I'm going to throw I was going to say, myself. would you bet money on you winning this game? Oh, wait. We need to check the living rules document, my friend. It's alive. What for? Uh, let's just see if there's anything like a ratted or anything weird. Are you running any new heroes this fine day? Nope. I'm going to have to go grab my... I almost did Vorhold, but it just doesn't make sense unless you're blue-green. I forgot I took all the models uh, for my painting endeavors at home, but I, I luckily have an answer. You're running a new one. Oh, yeah. We're going to see a lot of yellow today. Who am I? Okay, let's see. Now I can clearly here go to all the rules. And then the uh, FAQ and errata. Or I might, you know, I probably don't even need to go that far. Let's check that living rule book. Check the summary. All right, I'll check the summary. Boom, taking me to Google Drive. Here we go. Okay, rulebook changes. Before, Okay, set up. Before flipping victory cards, randomly place the control token in the lanes. That was what we were doing kind of anyway. Second player draws six instead of five, so that's still in. Frenzy, you know the new Frenzy, right? We're cool with that. Yeah. Now, if you've declared an attack this activation, you may declare a second attack, spending zero action points. Lead actions. Place it in portrait mode when leading from hand, so the good leads are, are portrait. Bad leads are landscape. You mean the random leads are landscape? Yeah, I don't judge, right? Uh, outsiders. It's no longer possible to use a first outsider to win the lead in another dome. Uh, so you check the control before activating any of them. When we only have one, it doesn't matter, but obviously yeah, that, that makes sense. Uh, and they are enemies. An outsider is considered an enemy hero all the time, no matter what. They're also considered friendly heroes while you activate or take actions with them. If a player defeats the Outsider, it counts towards the victory cards and is just removed from the game. There is no longer an Outsider to activate for that dome control. Wow. 
So that's considered killing an enemy hero for the purposes of objectives. Yep. It's Roshan all over again, man. That You won't know what that means. Control you, tokens. I listen. I know what Roshan is. It's the original outsider. Yeah, for Dota. For MOBAs. Yeah. You get like 250 a pop in that, that uh, divine resurrect thing. The Ankh. Ankh of reincarnation. Ankh. Uh, minion waves are now quicker and easier to move, while they also spread like real waves. When a control token completes a movement, only the minions in the same lane that, n lane that no longer have line of sight to it are repositioned. Yeah, so they stay where they're at unless right. they're not within three. Uh, no maximum pillars. Are you using pillars? Nope, we're not greening. Uh, Karuma marks are no longer targeting and line of sight required. That's, that's, what, that's what's up. Neptune Illusions now have one hit point, zero armor, and are removed when they lose one or more. So you can attack them and get them out. That, that's 100% all right. Grapple, Twist Allegiance, and Battle Cry are all banned. Siege is banned. Hunting for power. Uh, ooh, and Errata for Hunting for Power. This is smart. Yep. When a hero declares an attack action targeting the outsider, that hero's owner draws a power card. So it incentivizes you to make the first attack. Okay, nothing, nothing terribly new. Or newly terrible, which That's is right. always good. I will say these sleeves are shuffling mm -hmm. pretty good. Uh, Adrian's saying, uh, I've been playing solo a couple of times now. Great potential, still needs some twists. Yeah, Adrian, I think they're going to keep working on it. Um, and it, it's it's a really fun little way to kind of tweak your deck. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a great way to, to try a deck. I could see where you're coming from, where it's like a little more spice. It could, it could get somewhat linear. But of course, the cool thing about that app is that the cards the opponent's playing are on the app, so they can make adjustments to that all the time. It's right there in the lobby. Right there in the lobby. Now, keep in mind, too, this is not the actual solo standalone game that uh, PvP Geeks is developing. This is kind of an ancillary thing for the PvP version of the game to kind of test your decks and see if you have the, the goods. The goods? Without just going and getting a beat down to find that out. Yeah, well... Um... We all learn in different ways, I guess. That's right. Who are your heroes? I need a hero. Uh, Kanui, Akrit, Akuti, and uh, the fish. <laughs> it sounds like a sounds like a hilarious group of friends. Akuti, Akrit, Kanui, and the fish. Kanui and the fish. So you got Mermaid, Ekrit, Kanui. Yeah, keep going. And one more. And, and this Akuti. one. Akuti. Got it. The new god. I'm curious how many people watching have played the solo mode. What your take is on it. Akuti and the Blowfish. There you go. That's that's also very funny. That's the joke I was missing. You were this close. I knew it was somewhere. Oh, that's tasty. Tasty indeed. And right, I'm gonna shuffle this up. We're gonna randomly uh, do the control tokens. No oh, thanks. What a pal. I'm not your pal, dude. I'm gonna zoom this camera out too. Yeah, see more board. So you're. People are going to be able to see, uh, you know, under the table, so just don't do anything weird. It's good to let people know. Nathan says, I'm going to try it out this weekend. Let us know how it goes. I had a good time when I was playing it on stream. That's very nice. I think that's okay. You've got one. You've got the three. A little bit more. There it is. That's the whole board right there. For the first time ever. I'm going to give us just a little bit more. Lord Mugen, are you guys going to be doing a WoW Miniatures game and Epic Battle TCG for a future Throwback Thursday? I do have a WoW TCG starter that we'll probably play at some point. Uh, I haven't heard of Epic Battles, though. It's not even on the list. Crystal saying, I might purchase this soon. What's a good starting purchase? So I uh, had a few people asking me this on our community platform this weekend, texting back and forth. But there's essentially three tiers in my mind. There's the starter only. 
Uh, that's definitely enough to get the full experience. There's not going to be as many like deck building options, but I think that's a really phenomenal starter for what you get and how much content is there. And that's that's definitely enough to give you a taste of the full game. The next layer up is the starter plus the four original faction expansions. So there's a green box and a yellow box and a red box and a blue box. So that is, to me, the full experience in terms of not just the gameplay, but also the deck building. And then past that, it's just what you, you want. So the third tier would be buy all of it. Um, and there's not that much. It's, you know, it's not going to be that much more to get the rest of it at that point. There's only been you know, a handful of expansions. So that's kind of what you're looking at. I think a starter is a fine place to start. Um, <laughs> and then you can, yeah, um, I think it, it's, it does the starter better than most games I've seen do a starter, which is to say that you can actually build a reasonable deck out of that. Like if you went to a tournament or something, a starter would be plenty to play with. Um, you, would, you would be restricted on what your options were, but there's, there's enough options that it's not a disadvantage, really. I'm going to give us the full board experience here. Look at that. We've never done it like this. Uh -uh. Look at all my room. Oh, man, it's glorious. Yeah. We're blowing this up. It's a new day. <clears throat> the new dawn. It's a new day. Yeah, and we can center it on that, that logo, too. That was smart. You kind of figured that one out. Big brain time. You can see what it looks like to be an angel. Looking down on Zach and I as well. Look at that. You see, you're going to see a lot of the top of my head. It's not a common view that you get of yourself. No. I've almost never looked at the top of my head before. You've literally never actually looked at it. Well, yeah, certainly never actually looked at it. Isn't that a little weird? Um, I've never looked behind my eyes either, you know? That's getting... That's that's pretty far. <laughs> I'm out of this line. Do not pass a go. Stop there. Uh, Jason, you think you guys will ever try Angry Joe's Street Fighter game? Never heard of it, but possibly. When we're streaming five, four or five days a week, you know, anything's possible. We've tried it all. You're going to lose? We yeah. draw six now, right? Yep. Did you randomize the tokens? Sure. I randomized the... I can move these. Super cool. All right, hit me with the tokens. Alright, pick one. It's going to go over here. That one. This one? Mm -hmm. One. Where's the camera? Boom. Two. Boom. Nailed it. Are you ready for the win conditions? Yeah. It's a big deal. Alright, here we go. Condition number one. Oh, uh, yeah. The Tamer. Defeat two enemy heroes with the Outsider. Okay. Let's see what the Silent Ambassador can do. Obstinacy. Defeat the same enemy hero twice. Oh, come on. Give me a good one. Not that one. Nope. I'm going to not do a kill objective. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Give me a left breach or something. You have them in there? Somebody. Yeah. Give me a breach. Sky Terror Master. Win control the lead token three times. All right. In the dome. It's a dome game. Oh, goodness. This is not at all what I needed. It <laughs> Just failure. So I think either in his top four finals match, Tim, he had a kill list. So if a kill objective doesn't flip, he's in trouble. Mm -hmm. There's four in the deck out of ten. But one of them was Sky Terror Master, which is the dome, and another was a kill objective. So, like... One of the conditions was to go in the dome with all your heroes, and he just piles in and murders things. I love it. Yeah. You got to adapt, you know? That is that is the beautiful thing about the game. You got to adapt. That looks much better. All right, let's look at this spicy hand. Hmm. Spice? <laughs> Brian said, good thing Steven is ready to push those lanes. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. Come on. This is garbage. Uh, okay. But the good thing is you can always win through pushing. You can. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. It's a good advice I got when I was younger. You can always win by pushing? Mm-hmm. Sage, was that your dad? Yeah, I came in handy on the playground. Yeah. Just remember, kids, you can always win by pushing. I was a terror. 
I wasn't at all. Jonathan was, though. Was he? Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. He got softer and I got harder over time, you know? That makes sense, though, right? Yeah. Like water. Okay, done. All right, dry your hand. It's mulligan time. <laughs> it's mulligan time. Uh, do we know who's first yet? Yeah. Um, How do we determine that? Randomly? Yeah, we do it randomly. Even Steven on one of those dice? Yeah. For the choice? Yep. Two. Uh, so what? I can go... Go I... first and get the Sky Terraflux. Yeah. Or go second. Get nothing. Except for the positioning reality of going second. But you want to go first. Because you're a kill list. Um, Am I a kill list? And we don't we don't trade? Trade what? We don't if I no. go first, I go first the whole game. Well, no. If I forget how it So it switches if whoever goes last, right? Um, no, it stays the same. Does it always alternate? If I take the last activation, do you then get the first? No, it, it always stays the same. And okay. there's a card that switches it, but it stays the same. Okay. Uh but like if you're down a hero, right, it's possible that you kind of get that last position in of the turn if I'm down a hero. Okay. Oh wait, do I see these yet? Yeah, I'll you draw your hand. Okay, and then I choose first or second. Well, I think you choose first or second, then draw your hand. Okay. Let's go. Um Naturally, I feel like I want to go second. But realistically, I think I would get wrecked doing that. Well, that'll happen anyway, probably, but... Uh, I'll go... Uh... Technically, we wouldn't even see these until we placed our heroes. I'll go second. Let's okay. go second. That's so the right thing to do, right? I place one hero first. Um... You got the heat over there. Really? The, the flames. Yeah. So you and Tim were playing similar stuff. He was doing red kill? He was doing red green. Skirmish murder. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Skirmish is tough. Um, let's go with Yami here. Then you place two. <laughs> yeah. Can we? Eckert. Which one next to the illusion can't be hit? This one. With fans? Mm-hmm. Can't see me. She's the John Cena of Sky Terror. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um... Gonna go Kumaya. Actually, no. We'll go Shafafi and Kamaya there. Of course, that means that Setter is going there. I'll be right back. You do your placement. You can figure out your hand. Okay. Do your business. Yep. Um, I guess I should actually... I need to bone up on what you're up to here. Line of, tight, line of sight towards any friendly illusion. Enemy heroes adjacent are with their line of sight reduced by one. She's horrible. Man. And then deal one plus to all enemy heroes hit on burning sensors. Kumaya. That line of sight reduction is going to wreck me. First things first. Second Shafathi. Resolve a skirmish, swap the illusion, and then uh, predict one during a skirmish. Shafathi good. Down the line. Also a mage. I can still kill these mages. That's the thing. It's like... I don't have any armor. Yami is Yami. She's so good now. Mark's changing. And Sethiru, uh, line of sight to the illusion, plus one, and then can cast through the illusion. That's right. The Lord of Skydare. Okay. Easy enough. I've got Kanui. Adjacent to illusion can't be targeted. 
Uh, move a hero one hex whenever they lose hit points if they can see the illusion. That's good. Akuti's great. An absolute classic, some would say. Strida, of course, disarm when she shapeshifted and then lose two hit points, spawn a friendly minion. Ekrit, of course, is Ekrit. Good AoE Skylance kind of attack. And then uh, can't be moved. So can you and Ekrit have a lot of good movement shenanigans and the, what is it, Spirit of Nupton or Heart of Nupton, whatever it is that gives them a free warship, is just money for, for this faction. It's so strong. Uh, super good. So what I don't want is line of sight reduction anywhere. But I feel like... I feel like Yami is going to go downtown here. She's going to be clearing out the minions. The question is, where is Sethero going to go? Because I want a cootie somewhere where armor is going to matter. I feel like I'm going to put him over here, over here. Strato will probably live over here. Because, like, melee wizardry is a little bit harder than Sethera just coming in and blowing people up. So he's going to go here. And I hope that Akuti can kind of stay on this side of the board. It's so good. It's like Dota, man. It's so good. Just talking to myself. Matthew, you think uh, killing is too good? It might be. You need to get some more defensive cards in here. Or you release, uh, I'm not terribly into it, but you release class-specific abilities like Wizard has. Where like Akuti here with the uh, support class with the heart in it. What if it's like um, whenever you activate, heal one. Maybe that's their thing. And the warriors are like, uh, well, that's a good question. Maybe they can attack twice. Maybe that's what warriors are good for. I don't know. Or maybe uh, they get plus one armor when in melee. When being attacked from adjacency. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe a strida with the disabler. What does a disabler do? Anytime they uh, take a move effect, they can move an additional time. I don't know, you know? I'm just spitballing. What's up, Lucas? So I haven't played any games with a board like this, but I love card games. Is the board aspect of the game hard to learn? No, not at all. I would say if you love card games, this is the best possible uh, kind of merging of card games, board games, and miniatures games that you will find. This is ultimately a card game with miniature um, miniature game movement. Uh, but the, the heart of the, of the game is in the cards in your hand, the deck that you build, and the timing uh, of all of that, and the way that you resolve your cards and, and play on the stack and all of that. So it's not hard at all. And in fact, they keep it very easy. Any, all the effects are three. You move, it's three. You target, it's in three, uh, those kinds of things. So it's about as streamlined as it gets. Here's Zach breaking in like some chips over there. What's he up to? Let me tell you, I can't wait until we can play this in person with everybody. I feel like things are going to explode when we get to that point. Just a feeling. I think it's going to be a really important time. For the world, for the game, for this game in particular. And my little painted minions still look quite good. I'm very pleased with them. Quite pleased. I guess I could maybe pull off the Tamer too. Tamer and Sky Terror Master being in the same game is is 
terrifying. I'm going to have to fight for that. I didn't realize on Sky Tier Master, what is that? Frey Hell and uh, Sethiru working together there? That's an interesting story. Just break your arm. Almost died on that key in the door. Ouch. Gross. All right, you figured it out? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, David. I saw that. Actually, I didn't read it, but I saw it. Um, okay, are we ready to start uh, doing stuff? Uh, I need a mulligan. Yeah, me too. Mulligan one. Me too. It's going to be a weird, weird game. You said you're first round first. Uh, you placed first, yeah? Yeah. I'll go for it. Nice sleeves. He must be a pro. I am. Look at these things. They look great. Yeah, they, they do look great. <laughs> they slide. Uh, good good question, Lord. Uh, Northern Light Silver. Hold on, we got a bunch of stuff here, actually. Uh, Northern Lights, hi, Steven. Quick update. Quick Silver is really fun to play. I feel like you'll enjoy it a lot. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. I, I look forward to playing that very much. Lord Mugen, do you like this more than Rum and Bones? I've only played Rum and Bones in a very limited context at Gen I haven't Con played it at all. Time. You never played it? Mm -mm. I can't tell you. We're not, the, we're not a good source for that. But we love this. I could speak to this being great. <laughs> Good source for this. All right, I'm going to go with Shafafi. Yeah. I'm gonna Shafifi? Act, I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing. Well, Shafifi, well, you, you exhausted at the at the beginning of the turn, which is kind of a weird way to do it. Well, you know. I appreciate the... He's going to activate. The initiative. I'm going to worship. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go one, two, three. Can you read to me that worship action, please? Uh... This or this? Okay, so he's the one that switches after a skirmish? So his ability is when a projected hero, so someone that has an illusion out, declares a skirmish, they can predict one. So any yellow hero that can see this gets that ability. Then his time overlap is when he resolves a skirmish, he may swap himself with his illusion. Okay. So I'm just giving my, myself the opportunity sure. to swap to, to downtown. Actually, you know what? Before I do that. Oh, first gonna, action I'm takes you back to the already, huh? Here. Then I'm going to worship. Here. Okay. Then I'm going to move. There. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we like that. We like that very much. What's Yami up to anyway? Just Yami around, dude. He's the MVP. Mm hmm She really is. <laughs> it's good stuff. Her ability is so much better with the updated worship action. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we can get in there. One, two, three... I feel like I know exactly how this game is going to go. Death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go with Akuti. Right here. We're going to do a move. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going with Akuti yet. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. That's not what you want. I don't want to commit anywhere yet. I know. You have to do something, though. That's the, this is the beauty of the game. You always got to do something, don't you? One, two, three. My goal is to take moves really fast. That way you feel all the pressure of having to make decisions. I will feel none of that pressure. Um, let's go with Estrada. We're going to play Swiftness. Tanuki, we are using the new Outsider. The silent ambassador. Fast. Pew, pew, pew. Uh oh. It's a fast mermaid. Draw a power card. That's right. Going from fish to rabbit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Aren't the fastest. 
creatures on the planet, fish people. That's correct. Yeah. You know, moving through water, that, et cetera. Then uh, we're going to shape shift as you do, because I, I want that extra minion. And then we're going to shoot this one. You got it. Plus one. Blah. We're going to lose two hit points per her ability to spawn one, because we're here to party. And then, is there any way... What up, man? Mm-hmm. Nice. How do I... I have to spawn it next to the thing. Yeah. I got a wind blast for you, let me tell you. I'll see you in two turns, buddy. I got the flux, man. We're going to turn, turn, buddy. turn two of this thing. Uh, Adrian, does it give you the same sense of chest like think like ashes? It's not there's more variables to consider than chess. It's not a purely analytical exercise because cards in hand are quite variable. Lead cards are quite variable in the in a positive way. You're controlling the variance, but because your opponent's also controlling their variance, you don't quite know where their stuff is landing. You don't know what cards, and the cards in hand are big moments. So you can't you can't know exactly how a turn's going to play out like you could in chess, and even to some extent, Ashes. So it's more like an adaptation. Um, I'd say it's more like, um, it's a little more like Swords and Strongholds if you played that. It's kind of more in the Fisher random lane where like, it's just a little more wide open in what's possible. Uh, the stories this game tells are always super satisfying. Um, it's just like it's just it's a really special game. I don't know really how to how to describe it. Um, it feels like uh, here's the best way to describe it. Chess, and I've said this before. Chess feels like those video games where you can't jump and you're just moving. And this game feels like the game where you can jump like three times, and like that opens up the feeling of freedom and your ability to get where you want to go uh, in a big way. Yeah, Jay, great. <laughs> great comment there. Thank you. Look at that dome, and I don't mean the one in the middle of the board. That's not a bad... I mean, it's not a bad look, honestly. It could be worse. Sure. Not as balding as I expected, honestly. There is more hair present than I expected. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's just make this party happen, shan't we? Sure. Yami. Yami Dala. Yami. She's moving. Here. Mm -hmm. Then we'll skirmish. Here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we'll skirmish to here. And then we'll lead from hand. Right on. Hand is vertical. Hand is vertical, that's right. All right, you're up. It's the real business right there. So... If you're wondering, does Zach have quick shot? The answer, of course, is yes. Always. Um, it's always the answer. I like that we're fighting over this lane. Yeah, hey, this is the lane. Hey, somebody told me the party was happening at this lane. This is the lane. And here I am. Crystal said, all right, Steve, I'm sold. Well, that's good. You ever... Uh... Have the experience where you wear Invisalign, so you have to really drink and eat in a small window. No, I've never, I've never and in my life. And then you pound a daiquiri. <laughs> never in my life. And then you find yourself suddenly playing Sky Terror. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that experience. Not once. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I think that's what he's saying. He, he suspects that I have quick shot in hand. At worst, I'm playing on his irrational fear of me always having it. Well, just like I always have presents, right? My God, I hate that card. Is it banned yet? Why does it still exist? Jackmo, where are you at? All right, let's go with Ekrit. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. The party is happening. Yeah, let's time. go. Let's go. Um, attacking this minion. Any response? No. Can't see you. Can't do nothing. Plus zero. Did it. And then we will lead from hand. I'm not going to win the dome, but it is going to be a good time. It's beautiful. Hey, thank you so much, everybody who painted uh, painted our models. Um, 
That's awesome. So we had four uh, people early on in the SkyTear community uh, paint these models, and uh, we did the minions, and every every painter got a faction to do the heroes. They look absolutely tremendous. Uh, what a great what a great community, honestly, one of the best. You gonna commit or what? Commit to what? Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, say the room. Mm -hmm. We've already given the disclaimer. We're not. We're not super good at this game. <laughs> I'm not. So I'm we're not gonna have that. a good time with it. You know? I'm gonna skirmish. He's gonna. I mean, I'm better than Zach, but he's gonna worship. Doesn't make me good. Uh, okay, worship on. So you have to see an illusion to use its power. Any illusion you can see, you get the projected ability of. Mm -hmm. If you're yellow. Then we'll leave from hand. Okay. Making money moves here. Making money moves. I get it. I think Kenny might want a piece of that. Adrian's saying, thanks for the perspective. I'm considering playing Ashes or buying Ashes Reborn. Have enjoyed your videos of the game. I think both Sky Terror and Ashes as a core set is such great value and a great way to experience the game. These are both games worth trying. I totally, it's worth that step to see what, what you think about the game. If something is here outside the dome and here inside the dome, are they adjacent? You know, they must be, you right? You know that's above my pay grade. Or does adjacency, I don't think so. Does adjacency entail line of sight? Are you next to something you can't see? I mean, it's a philosophical question. I've never heard yes. <laughs> uh, Eric saying, for someone with little experience in miniature games, how high is the learning curve for Sky Terror? This is a great Low. place to start. Low. A lot of reasons. Do it. Models are pre-assembled. That's a huge learning curve when it comes to actually playing real miniature, like miniature game proper. Oh, you can't put an illusion here, technically. It has a token on it already. That's baloney. Bogus. <laughs> you can put it wherever you Let's want. Let's go there. Um... <laughs> The second thing is, it's not free form, like you're not measuring movement, there's a grid. And like one of the best things about this game is every model can see three spaces, range is three spaces. And so that alone makes this somewhat of a miniatures game with position elements, but not <laughs> the full wide 360 experience that you get in those kind of games. So this is a great start. Okay. Let's just think about this. Hmm. Kumai is cool. Can tokens go on tokens? Can we do stacks on stacks? I can't put an illusion on an illusion, right? That's crazy. I mean, it would be quite an illusion. But then again, you put a here on an illusion. That's pretty interesting because then I could put things in spaces that I know you want to put things in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's the game, though. That's the game we're playing. The game outside the game? This is a good game. Yeah, why are you doing this? Doing what? I'm just hanging out. Making quick gut decisions. <laughs> You're over there stressing. All right, move. Can you eat? Coming in. Mm -hmm. You still have a, is a cootie the other thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. They all sound more or less the same. The uh, I'm playing the, like the, uh, essentially, uh, squad of tough ladies. The A-team. Yeah, the A-team, for sure. A squad, A team. I They're think great. Team. All right, move. Mm. One, two, three. Any reactions? Uh, skirmish. Anything? Mm -mm. Boom, boom. Flipping on Seth. Here's a plus zero. Enjoy that one. Dunked it. And uh, then we're going to lead. Valiant attempt. Yeah, you know, you just 
fan stuff. This is the one that if she's next to her illusion, it's a problem. You cannot target her with an attack if she's next to her illusion. So like illusion. if I move and then I attack her, and then you play the card lets you illusion, you could illusion and now I can't see you. Yes, because she's that good. Let me look up adjacency too while we're here. I know it's on the website. Isn't that handy? Comprehensive rules. See it them. Is handy. Can you can you do a find on a phone? I usually just command F, but there there is a way. How do I do it? Let me see it. You need to like touch it. To... That's how I remember how to do things. No, I feel... Let me. Maybe I can find this. You should Google. <laughs> how do I find on a phone? <laughs> I know there's got to be adjacent somewhere. Who wrote this? This is garbage. I only say that because I know Tim had a hand in it. Yeah, I I'm know. Just, just ribbon in there. Tim and tape. Tape Tim. Maybe line of sight. Maybe it's in there. No. Who did this? Who did this? You don't even give me adjacency? Zones. Not it. Phases. Not it. Actions. Not it. You ever feel like it's about time for a fish fry? Sure. Get over there. We're not there yet. I'm not there yet. We're not done yet. Just hanging out. Hold on. I mean, you can move. Nah, I want you to watch the glory. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to see this. <laughs> this is about to be hot. Uh, <laughs> I will. I'll go ahead and start moving and shaking. Yeah. We're gonna go with Kumaya. Shocker. I'm just gonna Google adjacency sky terror. All right, makes sense. Let's go one, two, th three. I can stand on my own illusion, eh? Maybe. I never know. Honestly, I never know. Um, don't worry about that. Yeah, I saw a few of them. You do have quick shot. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Not that it changes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to punch. Um, All right, hold on. I might have things. Canoey. It's going to matter if I can find this. Effect, movement, move, place, push. Should we just rule adjacent as adjacent? Right? I don't know. Jack Mo, where are you? <laughs> yeah, dude, there's nothing in here that defines adjacency. Control so, F. Don't we just what, have what to... What do I need to find? I can control F over here. Uh, what is adjacent? Do you have to have line of sight That's to be what adjacent? the rules definitely for it. Uh, PlaySkyTear.com. Good start. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here. Okay, then try to find adjacent. Uh, well, what, what, where's the document? I, you All know, the rules? I, what, are you my grandma? I Just hope not. Set up the printer for you? Adjacent. Yeah. You can't do that. All right, you ready for this? Mm hmm Adjacent says, adjacent is defined as within one hex. Okay, so you don't have to be able to see them. Great. I love it. It's good for me. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? Often overlooked. <laughs> if an effect that reads, deal two damage to an adjacent enemy does not require line of sight. Great, okay. We're self-sufficient young men. So you're doing, you're doing an attack. Yeah. Play the card. Waste it. What's the attack? How much you do on Three plus attack? a card. Okay. I'm cool. Alright. Three plus two. That's a card. <laughs> uh, we have uh, armor one, so I'm going to take four. Okay. Then I will worship What's your worship thing? I'm going to put a burn token on you. Wow. Uh, it's 
two spaces, so like here and here, mm -hmm. and it says deal one plus damage to all enemy heroes hit. So one plus top card. Okay. Bring it on. One plus one, two damage. Take one. Okay. Decision time. Very good. Decision time and things were new. Well, okay. Well, hard to love and not be loved. Okay. Skirmish. Mm hmm. With a kitty. Oh, One, two. Shooting this thing. Cool. Anything weird? Do you have range with her? Yeah. There it is. Yeah, 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 you're good. Does she look like somebody who's holding a weapon? Take nothing. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, Warship. Any reactions? Mm -mm. Can I punch illusions now? Yep. Great. One, two, three. And then attack here. Two plus. Any reactions? Um, you got it. Zero. Take one. Take one. But projected hero, uh, when you resolve an attack, one plus next to a illusion. Minus one. One plus one. There you go. All right. Uh, I will go ahead and quick shot right now. Quick shot. With yummy. Pop this guy. End round? End of round. Let's calculate the winners. I have two heroes within three of the control token. You have Me two too. heroes. So you're up by two because you have two minions. And I have one face down card. What is it? It's a three. Me too. So you win by... Win by two. Two. So this will move two ding, towards my ding. thing. Now the minions can both still see it, so they don't move. They don't move. But then we both spawn two minions, starting with you. One. And your favorite of mine. Yeah. I think Yo. that's right. Unless, I mean, yeah, Yami kind of throws the math out. Yeah, it's looking good for Yami. Okay, and then number two. Two to one. Crunch. I win. So you destroy my one minion and move it one. And then we each spawn two. And he doesn't actually move. That's right. One there. And one's got to be on, right? I think so. Is yeah. that still the rule? I think so. I like that rule. Literally. Thank you, Time Roller. And the dome, two and two on the heroes. Yep. And then I got a three. I also have a three. Push. We're dancing. Who needs the silent ambassador when you have a stalemate? Man, am I right? All Everything right. readies? Everything readies. This Refresh clears. your mana. Go turn two. We draw two cards. And then discard if you have more than six, is that right? Yep. I do not. I do not. We were effective. <laughs> and here we are, man. Welcome to the party. So we've seen some good movement on the lanes here for blue and yellow, me. Uh, but we do have now the second turn, which is devastatingly good for the uh, attacking side of life, uh, where you'll have the first action here. Can I do anything about it is the question. I sure hope so. Hmm. It plays out so well. It sure ah, does. Ah, I can see it. The visuals are so there. Mm-hmm. You see the minion waves moving. You see the heroes dancing around. It's just... It has no reason to be doing it this well. Devastating. All right, let's go with... Why don't you just leave me alone? Mm -mm. 
Go back to your home base. Go back to your towers. I'm gonna go with Sethiru. Old Seth. Okay. So the first thing that's gonna happen before I activate, mm -hmm. Kumaya is gonna play Doom. Hmm. And in the stack, target in here. Okay, let me see about that here. What's Seth doing over there? He's a, you got that. Thing in there? A great question. No, you know, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen here. This is the turn. What's and what's Kamaya up to? Three. No, nothing really special other than that. Well, you're next to her and she can see an illusion. You're minus one line of sight. That's nice. That could have really hosed me last time. I gotta keep my eyes on the ball with that. <laughs> That's nuts. Um, I'm gonna respond with migraine, targeting Seth. With whom? Uh with Homegirl is about to get doomed. Mm, okay, migraine will trigger. All right, deal two damage to Seth and disarm him. Got it. And then uh, doom triggers. Yep. Unless you want to play in. Top card, guide. Doesn't much matter, really. Okay. Uh, and I'm going with Sethiru. So he will attack here. So it's three plus half. Yeah, give me a second. Time. That's fine. Okay. Three plus zero halved is 1.5 rounded up is two damage. You round up in this game? Mm -hmm, I think so. And he's a wizard. Took two, yeah. Then he'll move. Am I good? Mm hmm. Here. Then I will Sky Tear Flux. Okay. For minus one. And then he'll play a Wind Blast. Here. Let's take a or look this at spot. this. You have to do some fancy dancing. It's four or three. Or it's a brick of four, and I'm targeting this space. Right on. So you can see where I would naturally want that to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's good. Kadoom, two damage to all your You minions. got him. He is a powerful wizard. This goes away. He's activated. And it's your hey, time roller, man. You're, you're crushing on the rules. Thank you. We, uh, we really appreciate all the, all the help there. Definitely. All right, you're up. You're up. Two damage, four minions. Feels okay. Yeah, not a bad turn there. Monkey unit. What country are you from? We get so lost in this game. It's great. It's phenomenal. All right, so can you be important to know? Just is not going to be able to cast anything. But this ability only triggers when you actually apply the mark, right? The the sensors? No. So her smoke screen is while she has line of sight towards an illusion enemy adjacent to her have released by one. Yeah, but the burning sensor, you have to apply the mark to deal to. Otherwise, me being marked doesn't matter for her activation. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. No one cares about you being marked in my list. Oh, yeah? Like, they don't have an ability that uh, is like Hogusai, who's minus one armor when you're marked kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, Seth abandoning the dome here. Netherlands, nice monkey. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I'm, how, many, how many people live in the Netherlands? I'm curious how big your country is. I love the Netherlands. Did you go on there? Did you go there on your Europe trip? Mm -hmm. 
I sure did. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Okay. Good. We can, okay, we can clean this up. We can clean this up. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, man. It's not a problem. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Have I got news for you? I'm gonna get it. <laughs> hmm. Seventeen million people in Netherlands, give or take. That's that's not bad. That's pretty big. Yeah, not bad at all. It's a game of so many possibilities, man. It's aggravating. Is it too much? You know? Is it just too much? Too much. Can't handle it. Remember that guy from Sperry? We played basketball in Sperry, <laughs> yeah. and there was this, like, high school teacher in the crowd, and literally the whole time he had this big megaphone, and he was like, too much. Too much. Can't handle it. Can't handle it. He was the worst. Mm -hmm. Like all game. Not just like sometimes. <laughs> just constant. The berating. whole time. All right. Can can you he's going to go? Where's she going? She's going downtown, man. Downtown. No, wait. No, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on. Even better plan. You know, I was thinking the other day, we're, we're approaching a year of this, of our pandemic streams. I feel like we got to do something special on that one year anniversary. Look back, didn't know what was about to happen to us. Yeah. You're right. Thanks. Okay. Um, let's see if I'm here. One, two, three... I'm thinking like seven moves ahead. You wouldn't believe it. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. I played those chess players. I'm like eight moves ahead. Yeah. And then you just beat them and it doesn't matter. How are the cards? How are the cards? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever considered this move? No. Um. To... Can illusions move through enemies, enemy heroes and stuff? You don't have any idea. Monkey units got it, or time rollers got it. I feel like they can. I think so, as long as they're in there. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a skirmish. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to resolve that skirmish on uh, Jafati. Zero plus one. Got him. Then we're going to declare bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. An attack action on this minion. You got it. Any probs? Nope. Hit it for Ooh, plus seven. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. And then we're going to do a warship action. One, two, three. What's our warship doing? Um, anybody who can see it cannot be moved by effects generated by enemies. So she cannot currently be moved. And then uh, she does the Skylance. If she's in a straight line with her oh, illusion, yeah. she can get with it. She can blast them. All right, that's me. All right. We're going to go with Yami. Yami? She's going to move? Reaction. Go ahead. I'm going to play Snowblind with Ekrit. AOE, wave in front, disarm each enemy hero hit. Mm, man, you're just annoying, aren't you? All right, she's going to move. 
Um, she's gonna go <laughs> one, two, three, triggering her ability on that minion. Alrighty. So it's a one plus three. Oh, classic. That's a dead minion. Illusions ignore blocking elements during movement, in their movement, in a hex without miniatures or a token. Important to say you cannot stack an illusion token on an illusion token. Yeah. So she moved, and then... <laughs> You're just going to be annoying, aren't you? Yes, Zach. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. O-S-A-R. <laughs> MR Ducks. <laughs> MR Ducks. <laughs> uh, she's going to punch here. Just punching that minion. Yeah, we're disarmed. So 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Rounded up is 2. That minion's out of her. It's Brainiac from the Star Wars CCG. Right. What's Pi again? Then she'll commit from hand. Get on down with your bad self. <laughs> okay. I believe that I will. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about the fish. Astrida? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm just waiting for her to come out to play. Coming out of the trees. Let's go. She might be coming out of the trees. Great. You know you're disarmed. What's the worst that can happen? <clears throat> I don't have anything that gives me plus one strength and gets rid of a disarm. I do not have that card. I definitely don't have that card. Yeah. It's not called Clear Mind either. There's no need to rush this. You know? Watching you play Sky Terror is actually quite fascinating. Can you he's going to go? What a stress. Skirmish. Reaction. Just go. kidding. Go ahead. Just getting in, getting in your head. One, two, is all up here. Come Zero on, plus. What? There it is. Mm, I do like seeing. Chasm disappearing. I wanted the effects. I'm going to attack Seth. Three plus. Pass. Here we go. Three plus three. There's oh a my six. Goodness. That's it's unreal. a miracle. <laughs> you have like literally your four, four ultimates that are the plus three. Yeah. Sorry, you missed earlier. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then uh, I'll move there. Done. Mark goes away. Mark time, Mark. So anyway, started blasting. You might have a dead Seth on your hands, buddy. Nothing fresher than a dead Seth. That's right. What's all this FFG news that's happening? What are you talking about? Somebody said something's going on in the FFG really early in the stream. Or maybe a Champions product announced or something? Hmm. I know Atom Last was doing their first Star Wars stream. Very at nice. some point today. What's Rodney streaming? Somebody needs to go Still, over no to Rodney's. Go, go to Rodney's stream and just send, tell him that he... Send him our love. I was going to say, tell him that the Lannisters, I mean Covenant, <laughs> sends their regards. And that he should be over here watching us play Sky Terror instead of doing whatever whatever oh, yeah, did you... Canadian road show he's up to these days. The What do you call him? The Maple what? The Maple Mangler. <laughs> Uh, they did announce Star <laughs> Lord super show <laughs> for champions. Did okay. you see him? You're gonna love me playing Star Lord because so Scarlet Witch <laughs> side now. This is a little side trail. Scarlet Witch is messing with. She gets cool stuff, but she discards cards from the encounter deck. Yeah. 
with which hexes. Eventually gets you through the deck faster seek acceleration tokens. That's but cool. we tend to not care about acceleration tokens. Don't care in at our all. history of playing. If it. I can ramp, I'm fine with them <laughs> ramping. But Star Lord does the same thing except for with getting encounter cards. So he'll take an encounter card and he can play a card that costs three or less for free. Oh, nice. And so he Very nice. He so you're going to delve too deep us the whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, great, Except great. for in Heroic, it's just like insane. Very nice. Yeah. Gunner says he's swapping between us and Atomic Mass games right now. Nice. Very cool. Let us know if they're doing anything. Who uh, has the better knowing. video and sound quality? Tell me that. I'd love to know. Because we got to beat everybody. That's the goal. That's the goal. Even the quackalopes. <laughs> Even quacks. the paddle people. <laughs> All right, let's go with uh, Kumaya. You ready for this? Skirmish. How original. But where are you going to go, you think? I mean, you're obviously going to skirmish towards a cutie, right? Mm -hmm. Asking for a friend? Uh, I, have no, I have no issue with your skirmish, sir. All right. Boop, boop. <laughs> Plus zero. Cool. Eat it. Uh, then I'll swing at a cutie. Mm-hmm. Just a three plus. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Yeah. Just a three. Three plus. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Three plus one. Four damage. Four damage. I have zero armor. Take it. Then she will worship. Going to burn you and flip a card if you aren't doing anything. You, you, you're burning. One plus two, three damage. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Gunner says it's a lot of, we're so excited to take over the Star Wars minis at the moment. <laughs> yeah. It's fair. If they announce Ahsoka, you let me know. Okay. We know you've got weird tricks, though, don't we? Okay. All right. All right. And then are you are you going to try to make a downtown play here? It mm -hmm. feels like something you would do. Mm -hmm. Definitely feels like something you would do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that, you know? I might just see myself out of the dome here. <laughs> I'm, I think that's right. <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford this, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't want to get destroyed. Uh, let's start out with a move action here. You got it, man. Let's see, let's do move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, move. We go. Cool with that? You're good. Okay. Then uh, we're going to do presents. <laughs> Jeremy says our stream quality is way better. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Not that it's a competition, but. I hate that card. Go ahead. Mm. These are great cards. I'm leaving them both up top. Alex Becker likes your, your digs at Star Wars on our latest podcast. Oh, good. Thank you. Uh, second action, we're going to uh, top rope it. Your deck is definitely controlling the lanes way better than mine. <laughs> Third action, yeah, you're playing that game. I don't know what's going on. Third action, we're going to attack there. You got it. Plus one. You got him. Done. You can have your mark back. Oh, Estrada. Hey, Moira. I told you about that old, there's that old uh, X Men animated series. That one yeah. uh, episode. <laughs> And there's Robert and I managed to catch it one time, and Dylan was watching it at the house, just a random episode, and it's Banshee. 
and Myra gets pushed off the uh, off of a cliff. And Banshee, if you don't know, can only fly, as far as I understand it, while screaming. That's kind of the whole point of Banshee. So he just goes, Oi, Myra! And then he jumps off the cliff and goes, Meow! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's just funny in the right so context. Funny. That's great. <laughs> There's, yeah, Galactus on the chat. Yeah! <laughs> uh, X-Wing and Armada minis will still be pre-painted. That's the big news so far. Okay, so nothing has changed is, is the big news. news so far. We were concerned about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a stride left? I have oh, one are... fish. No way, man. I, you're <laughs> tricking me. That dra dang <laughs> fish. All right. Let's go with uh, Shapathi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did I call him? Shapiki? Shapiki, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. He's going How to... about Eckert just coming up there and snow blinding you? She looks like she's, like, you yeah. know, like, mm -hmm. eat snow. <laughs> <laughs> Although she's from the desert, so I don't know. Well, you know, that's how she um, uh, knows to manipulate the wind. I'm going to skirmish. Hmm. Okay, you've skirmished. Flip. Mm -hmm. One. Armor one. Your mage? Yes. Okay. Don't care about no stinking Your armor. Assassin's Creed over here. That's right. Uh, then I'm going to punch a minion. Yeah. Three, four, five, divided by two is 2.5 rounded up is three. This one or this one? No, which one did this, you choose? This one. <laughs> now that you know you've hit. I mean. <laughs> strategic decision. The odds of me hitting are zero. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, missing, I mean. Um, I already got a card. Let's go ahead and quick shot that minion. What? Why are you always quick shotting? It's the stupidest thing. That's your presence. It is my presence. It's the same thing. It's minus one. It's it like is you not. actually get board presence. You get plus one and a card. Now I get to predict. I don't get to draw. But you get plus one. You can get to a four. It's way good. I get to a four, but you just minus ones me, and it's permanent. Yeah, but... Mine's temporary. Yeah, but that's if you have <laughs> yeah, a minion but... <laughs> in a spot that matters. You can go to the middle and have a oh, four. Oh, when do I not have? Yeah, it's, it's true. impossible. Presence I'm, in the I'm middle move. is where it's I'm at. I'm going to move. I'll, I'll trade. You know what? We can play a game where we can act like presence is red and quick shot is blue, and we'll see how we I do. don't want to play that game. All right, go ahead. Okay, so question marks become, where do we want to try to, where does the game happen? This is board state, honestly. It's great, really. It's great. We have little mini battles going on. Um, everything's cool. All of the minions are basically gone. <laughs> yeah, we've wiped it up. You, that wind blast for four is like, I hate that. I hate it. Okay, so what you're saying is I can either win the right lane or I can win the dome. You don't have any cards in here, right? Nope. None cards. But are you really going to come win the dome with a strida? I hope so. Yeah, not the best use of the, the fish. I was hoping that that is what would happen. You either basically take the lane or come to the dome. Yeah. An old fish fry is ready. Ready for the fish in the middle, you know? Get in the pan. <laughs> fish in the middle. Here we go. No matter what I do, I'm 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 in a very vulnerable situation. All right. A strand is gonna cast presence. See? See? <laughs> I'm gonna go home. Um. You can't mess with my leads, right? There's nothing weird that you have in your card pool that does that. I can play Doom. It doesn't do anything. The top card would go away. Oh, right. Yeah, good. Good. Excellent strategy session. Thank you. I'm going to lead. Yeah. Before anything else happens. First action. 
Technically, when you predict, I could respond by playing Doom if I can target something. If you can target it, yeah. Second action. Good strategy nope. session, thanks. Uh, third action, I'm going to try to hit that minion. Hit it. You going to do your thing? No, I'm not shape shifted. Mm, nice. You don't have the helpless spirit anyway. No. You're good. I'll get scythed. You're good. <laughs> It'd be a reckoning. All right, let me hit the bathroom before we resolve right. this because I really. Don't hit it too hard. You have to pay for that. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> okay, let's, re let's catch up on the AMG stream real quick. Uh, Gunner saying the branding will start in 2022. Well, that's not exciting. That's just a packaging thing. Uh, Gunner saying apparently there's going to be spoilers at the end. I, you know, I, I dabble. I dabble in Legion. I buy some X-Wing sometimes. I, I, that's a long story, but I, I haven't been keeping up since a little bit after first edition, or second edition came out. But I would like to see Ahsoka. I have a clone army I'm working on. Imperials, of course. But uh, probably my wish list would be Ahsoka. Any of the other Jedi. Plo Koon, Isla Sakura, Yoda. Uh, I'd be into it. I'm trying to think about what else I want. The Darth Maul model was cool. I got it. I haven't put it together yet. Um, the droids look cool too, but I would really like to see. Technically, I, I don't know that they'll do it. The first order and re resistance, mostly just Ray and Kylo, and like first order stormtroop stormtroopers are cool looking as well. I'd love to paint those. Keep me posted while I wreck Steven. Nothing but compliments about you while you were gone. <laughs> I can read the chat. <laughs> no, my words, not the chat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got him to agree not to say what I said. By the way, I just hate this person so much. Yeah, I'm so tired of his face. Okay, um, you're to resolve this thing. Hold oh, on. Right. You got the old low battery alert, huh? Yeah, I haven't had it plugged in all day. All right, what's happening? We're res resolving the turn. Number one. I have two heroes within three. You have one within three. I'm I have currently one ahead. I have a card plus presence. I have a three. I have a three plus one. So you, four. You two ahead. By one. So you're within five of my... Two ahead. Presence. Oh, because you have an extra hero. Yeah. It's within, within three of my uh, nexus. So you'll destroy two of my towers. And you get to draw a card because you destroyed at least one. Any number of towers destroyed, draw a card. And then this will move here. Yeah. And it can't go any further until those towers are gone. Yeah, and so then we both spawn minions starting with you. That's right. And we both have to Start spawn here. on the pocket there. Let's just be real. You know, you yeah, I think I'm going to go here for sure, right? That's just annoying for Yami. Um, okay. Gunner saying the big st big stream rush at the end of March for news and announcements and stuff. So they're they're having a stream to talk about a future stream. Okay. So far. Cool. New website later this Basic year. Stuff. That's good. Just, I think a lot of, honestly, a lot of players just knowing that the game's going to keep coming out. It's going to be what you expect. That's big news. actually what they yeah. want. AMG branding with start in 2022. What does that mean? So like right now, all the stuff is marketed as oh, FFG and stuff. So it'll officially switch. Wow, that's, that's a long time. I assume there's a lot of product printed. I assume their development cycle is at least like six months to a year out. So like we're in January, they probably already designed the rest of the year yeah. under FFG. Um, all right, number two. One hero, two hero. One hero, one minion. Tied. So tied. I do have presence plus three. Plus two, rather. So, so three, three total. Head. Yeah. One, two, three. Mm hmm. Draw another card. Seems like an advantage. This will move here. Mm hmm. Then we go to the middle. Here we go. Two to zero. Let's get her in here. <laughs> just wanted to see it. The you silent know, ambassador. It. Place anywhere adjacent to the dump perimeter, and then I'll get three actions. I can predict two. Saucy. Yeah, you, you spread out smartly. <laughs> but I can I can do mean things to you. I know, it's crazy. I mean you, you could probably you could you could make a play at somebody here. If you want to. I am making a play. Yeah. You can't help but make a play. <laughs> it's the, you're born to make plays. <laughs> that's right. That's my Twitter. I uh, need to spawn in lane two, that's right. That's Thank my you, Twitter man. bio. Thank you, Chuck Mo. Born to make plays. So we gotta go here. Keeping us honest. 
Mm, let's just be real. Let's just keep being real. I don't know. I might try to protect myself. Yeah. I'm protecting. You know what I mean? This is the moment we've been waiting for. This is the moment the Silent Ambassador is a must-buy. So it's all riding right here <laughs> on this decision of mine. You could really change some minds here, Zach. That's all I'm saying. It's like your headbutt. Yeah, and I missed it. And I've uh, I've been optimizing tier two ever since. That's honestly. right. Mm. Don't you remember how every time you come back and play the game, you realize how devastatingly good it is all yeah, over again? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> here we go. Outsider here. This is, a, I need to be playing this in a local store game for me. Like, I need to walk in about 6.30, spot somebody, and be like, you want to play a game of Sky Chair? Yeah. I have an hour and a half. I have one game in me. Yeah. All right. First thing I'm going to do is a wormhole. Mm. Swap target hero's position. Targeting itself with any other hero's position within four hexes of the satellite ambassador. Okay. One, two, three. Four. Uh oh. So we swap him. You fish out of water. <laughs> Second action. <laughs> you made a mistake. Mm -mm. We are going to stone storm. Place the AOE. Yes. Mistake. <laughs> reverse. Yeah, hold on. Reverse. It's a reverse wormhole, actually. <laughs> I'll go here. Spawn there. And then we'll swap. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're now we're getting that's it. Place the AOE, it's a four block. Oh, you know what? You know what they also sent me? You have hexes? Let me just see. Yeah, I see hexes on me. Pardon the noise. Oh look, this is amazing actually. This is So like, you know, um that card that I like to run all the time? Yeah, Dragon Punch. Dragon Punch. Oh, these are good visuals. Um, they do it. It's just an amazingly good job. I don't know where they get all this talent. Oh, look, you even got Soul Stream on this one. That's not the one I want right now. This it's is a the little one flavor. This is a four block. Yeah. Did you not? I mean, this is technically four That's block right. as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. All right. So, uh, within two, so I will do this spot mm -hmm. like this. Cool. You can see it on camera really nicely too. Yeah. yeah. It's good visual. That's cool. You got me. You're slowing me? Uh no, it's one damage plus a card. Huh. So one plus zero. They both take one. Okay. I think I have armor on both. I do. Okay. Swing and a miss. <laughs> but then, you know. Then they're both slow. From a fish to a snail. And then I will attack. You wanna get that. No plans for X-Wing 3.0. Thank you, Gunner. That's good. That's a relief for many people. Why don't you do that Big Dad Predict 2? Yeah, I might. No, I'm just going to do a 3 attack here. Okay. 3 plus 0. Man, 3 is crazy. Uh, on Ekrit? Mm-hmm. Take 2. Just slowly. You think they'll ever have an outsider that's a mage? That'd be crazy. Like a that mage would, like four plus. Crazy. It'd be like the, the outsider god. I also... Like an archon. Uh-huh. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. These cards over here matter. All right. End of the round? Uh-huh. Now we get to the round. This is the round of rounds. Scoop it. Draw two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we play. We play indeed. We've gotten past the opening. Now we're in the mid-game. We're in the mid-game now. Zach took the Queen's Gambit. Is he going to go to the King's Indian? Is he going to go for the Sicilian? Now, can so if, go for if the there modified. are illusions here, I can worship and move it or replace it. Yeah, you can either move it from its current spot or start at you and move three. 
You can cast through it too, right? Is that no matter where it is, you have to see it. You, can, you have to see it, but you yeah. can see things as long as... Yeah, like I could see it even if it was here in the cover. Yes, yeah. I just can't see it through the dome. Right. The dome knows all. So far as wanting you to update, you might want to cancel that. <laughs> update when I tell you to. Is it so hard? You know, computers always trying to do... Trying to make you do the things. It's like, I'll do them when I tell you to do them. Don't try to run my life. That's Gunner, right. I appreciate these updates. Uh, Adrian, yeah, we can do the swap. So there's a new rule in the living rules that says uh, during the outsider activation, it's considered a friendly hero. And during the entire game, it's considered an enemy hero. Uh, that's a new rule in the living rules. So uh, makes the outsider play a little more interesting. And then uh, you can understand Phoenix Cell for X-Wing, two A-Wings and a B-Wing. So there's some special stuff going on. And then uh, Sky Strike Aces, uh, a TIE Defender, and two TIE Interceptors. They're getting the game back to what we liked. Back to manu maneuvering. Back, back to the little ships. All right, let's do this. I'm going to worship with Sithiru. Okay. Response. Just kidding. Cool. Um, then I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Just kidding. Um, it's turn three, so we get three resources. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Somebody needed that to happen, huh? <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to play a Wind Blast. Why do you keep doing that? This is what my deck does. Where are you targeting? Asking for a friend. Mm. <laughs> this hex. Mm -hmm. Can't see you, can I? Nope. Yeah, that's relevant. Just You can't see me? Just keeping things in mind. Aaron Clark saying, hey guys, I added a Blitz subscription for Flesh and Blood. Is there a way to get the previous Blitz decks? This might be my way into Fab. Um, so the previous decks weren't actually even Blitz decks. They were just full-on constructed decks. And the answer is no. Those are gone long, by long gone. six months. <laughs> Thanks for subbing, though. That's great. Yeah, it's awesome. going to be a great start for it Flesh is, and Blood. It is an amazing way to start playing that game. For pre-built, ready-to-play decks. It's awesome. All right. Oh, you didn't say you subscribe. Well, Aaron, you got to subscribe. You get on that Blitz deck sub, do a one of. You'll get four de different decks, four heroes, um, 12 bucks a pop. And uh, that's a great way to start playing Flesh and Blood. And it's, you probably need to subscribe pretty soon if you want that. Just for real. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's so fine. All right. So it's going to be, I can see my illusion. So it's going to be three damage to all of those things. That's pretty hot. And you're a mage, right? I am a mage. Blah. Thanks. Uh, you really make good minion death noises. Something you've <laughs> perfected over the years. I really uh, put a lot of work into that, honestly. Okay, then he's going to shoot. Shoot what? Her. Hmm. You're attacking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can you kill me? I mean, what do you, what do you got over there? Three plus. And you, you you can't cast any more spells. Currently. That's a good question. Yeah. Can you kill me? <laughs> um, um, hmm. Well, that's interesting, though. Um, all right, I'm going to cast Whisper of Nupton, take a warship action with Kanui. What I've been waiting to do my whole life. You got any response to that? Uh, nope. All right. Chonk. So I can't damage you. Cannot, cannot no longer target me with attack actions. Okay, so, the so attack I can still will skirmish you. Yes. If I want to. Yeah. Um, okay. And this is probably better. I don't know. Can you see it? You can't see it in cover. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. All right. I will skirmish. Okay. No, no response. We'll go one skirmish here. Yeah. For two. Mage. Yep. And then he'll hop into the dome. Mages can get bent. Just burn. It's just so. It's like. 
Armor stat for a reason. You love to see it. Gunner saying uh, Venator is next. The Star Destroyer? Seems like. Mm-hmm. So the like New Republic Star Destroyer. Oh, the, right the on. Pre, uh, Star pre like Imperial Star Destroyer Star Destroyer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Man, this is going to be the turn, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just, you don't want to commit. You know, that that's the name of the game. Do, you don't. Do not commit. Seth's almost dead. Let's be honest. Six health. And I'm kind of on the on the prowl here. I kind of want to go for it. Get a sweet two cards. You definitely have the card advantage. Even before that. Okay. Okay. Or we play it, play it really cool. Um, which is also very tantalizing. Okay, so let's do this then. One, two, three. Let's do Kanui is going to play Presence. After I soapbox about it, get it out of here, ban it! <laughs> hmm. that <clears throat> then uh first action we're gonna lead no <clears throat> uh second action we're gonna attack that minion next to me cool with that mm -hmm. i'm pick him pick him off and last action we're gonna move Pass. What's up, Jay Rutley? Uh, Dark Tiding's supposed to be out soon for Keyforge. That's true, right? Mm -hmm. They kind of. It, it's kind of. It is true. You guys gonna stream some of that? We. I think we will always stream. Some of it. One sealed round of Keyforge whenever a new set comes out. It's worth exploring, I think, most of the time. All right, let's go with Yami. Yami Dala. Yami? Yami? He's going to move. <clears throat> All right, hold on just a second. Since we're here... Mm -hmm. What are you going to try to do? Are you going to try to kill me? No. no. You're going to just try to hit minions. The move is cool. We're going to go one, two, three. Flipping, going through that mm -hmm. minion. Plus three. <laughs> That's exactly what you needed. Sometimes the beats are just bad. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to punch the fish. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let's just take a look at this. Uh, the punch is, punch is good. 
Two plus two. Four. Four minus one armor. I actually get to use it now, right? Yep. Take three. And then I will skirmish. Really? Yep. Queen. Zero plus zero. <laughs> I mean, they want to be next to that minion. Carry on. Okay. Yami done. You got one of them AOEs? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Because now we're getting more than AOEs. Not in cover here? No. Okay, we are going to go with Ekrit. Get on down with your bad self. Thank you. I will. We're going to do a skirmish. Cool. Mm -hmm. One move. Swing for three. You got it. Plus zero. I could have known what that card was if I did done it right. Talk to my deck out. Oh, that's, not, that's too much work. Hanging out with the outsider? Yeah. <laughs> we're just we're holding hands here. I like it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Support each other. That's right. Hmm. Second action, we're going to worship. And third action, we're going to lance both of those minions. Mm -hmm. Plus three. She's still really good. Yeah. All right. Over to you. What? No, nothing. I'm going to go with... Shafifi? Shafifi. <laughs> He's going to skirmish. <clears throat> Clean. Nowhere to go. Flip. Mm. On a strata. For one. One on the armor. He's a mage. He is a mage. Yeah. He's a maging. All right, he's going to try to punch Estrada. Uh, Ekrit is going to respond with a migraine for Disable. Estrada on the spot. You got two no. damage? Two damage and disarm. I'm still punching? You're still punching, yeah. All right, three, four divided by two is two. And then this goes away because I just punched. What? Disarm? Disarm? I punched. So I disarm and I use the token when I, right? No, it's only frenzy. It's there. It only. It doesn't matter. Only for attack and skirmish. But it goes away when you exhaust. Okay. Uh, then I'm going <clears> to <throat> lead from top. Mmm, here's, here's the <laughs> money moment here. <laughs> okay. Huh. Really? Mm-hmm. You got a quick shot, obviously. What are you talking about? <laughs> Can I see a quick shot in a discard pile? Just curious what it says. And are there three? There is one, two. <laughs> Quick shot, one cost, plus two. Reaction, defeat target adjacent enemy okay. minion. You know, it's, just, it's worth asking. It, it's saying. worth knowing. You know. I'm into it. Move, lead. Yeah. 
I'm setting myself up for some AOE problems here. The best kind, honestly. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm slow. So that changes the game a little bit. All right, uh, Astrida is going to play Swiftness. OK, so they cancel out. Cancel out, and I'm going to draw a power card. I'm going to declare a move. Is this move good? Mm-hmm. Lead. Mm. From the discard pile. Top of deck, here we go. Oh, yeah, boy. And then we're going to do the old Leothan shapeshift into the round trick. So she'll come in next turn shapeshifted. Okay. Over to you. Thank you, Gunner. Thanks for all the info. That's really helpful. Sounds good. They're opening a rules for him. I guess that's better than scattering it around the podcasts and blogs and center. So, Gunner, what do you think? What do you think about the news? Is it uh, is it exciting? Is it the right call? You have two top of the decks. This one is presenced. Oh, okay. I predicted that one, so just be so it should be vertical, eh? Well, it's still random. Oh, I mean, it's, still, it's still from top of deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's fine. But it's you just have to be paying attention. Lighter, but top really, of deck. Yeah. it is that. Yes, I get. I'll, I get I'll what do you're it. Saying. Gentleman's I, agreement there. I know. I get what you're saying now. It's interesting. <clears throat> I haven't seen a dodge yet either. You're on dodge? <laughs> what I mean by that is, are you playing Sky Terror? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a pulse? I'll bet your discard pile has at least one dodge in it. You know, you'd be surprised. <laughs> no way. There's one dodge. So you have two in hand? No. You're about to pull some crazy shenanigans at the end of this turn. Or you got one under Shafifi there. One does not simply. So Shafifi dodges into the dome, is what you're saying? Seth dodges out of the dome? I mean. Let's go look at Maya. <laughs> She's going to move. No, no issues. I'll allow it. She's going to skirmish. I'm currently plus one armor because I'm projected. That's fine. Um... <clears throat> Skirmish is good. Flip. Plus two. Take one. Let me think. Yeah, I think I got two. Go back in. Mm. And we'll lead from hand. Okay. All right. All right. So that's your win condition, huh? I think it always has been. Hmm. Two and two, you got a random on Shafiki, so that's an interesting equation over there. <laughs> four or four. And Shafati goes over there. First guy tearing now. Move. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, that would be one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, howdy. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to cast. 
Magic missile. With a cootie. Yeah. Uh, nourish for healing for three. All right. Health is good. Hmm. <clears throat> First action is worship. Second action is move. Third action, I'm going to attempt to attack Seth. You got it. Five. <laughs> and then resolve on this minion. Mm -hmm. Plus one. Done. And around? And around. All right. Lane Uno. Two heroes to two heroes. You have one minion, so you're head by one. Head by one. Let's go. Let's see what Arando is at. Three! Game is over! One. You're head by... Head by three. Three. That's three towers. Good two. Draw a card. And draw a card, and then three movements. Remember we learned that we move past the dead towers? Okay. Remember that last time? Because I didn't think that was the case. That makes sense. You destroy stuff, and then you move the token. All right, you spawn. I don't. And you don't. Oh, no. He's doomed. There we go. Number two. I've got presence, hero, and a three. Mm. So that's Could four, dunk. five. Draw Could dunk. card. I'm surrounded. And then you go to the dome. Three total. Oh, and I get to spawn over here, too. Second token here. Outsider. Party time. You know, downtown outsider. Here we go. All right. Gunner summoned it up here. X-Wing is getting a pack for Imperial, Rebels, and Scum each. No new info on Armada. Legion is getting two new vehicles, one Rebel, one Imperial slash Republic. Not terrible. All right, we're going to go here. Mm -hmm. Then I will do the Stone Storm. AoE template here is going to be one plus to both of them. Mm -hmm. One plus one, so two. Two to both, take one each. And actually, I'm going to go here for reasons. Then I will swap places. This is the target hero within four. Mm -hmm. There. And then I'll shoot Astrida for three plus. Got it. Can't play any cards. Three plus one, so four on a strider. Taking three. Okay. Draw two. Mm-hmm. And you get the first action. We're going to go with Sethiru. Get it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. He's going to move. Okay. Uh, I do have a response. Okay. Uh, Akuti is going to try to play Snowblind. What would that do? It would disarm here and here. It's AoE. No target needed. I will react. Uh oh. We're gonna dodge. Yeah. With Sithiru. Here we go. He's gonna go 
here. And then we will... I assume I'm cool still. Yep. We'll dodge. Hmm. Where... Place the caster in target hex. What's your target hex there? Asking for a friend. Here? Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, we're going to dodge with uh, Kumaya. Hmm, wow. It's a real bailout situation uh, here. I'll target here. <laughs> <laughs> they just jumped over the snow one. That's amazing. Um, That's clean. Yeah. yeah. She's there. So if you're still executing a move. Mm hmm. My golden? You're golden. He's going to go one, two, three. Then I'm going to skirmish. Um, get this out of here. Astrida is going to react with a nourish for heal three on herself. Okay. And no other response. He'll go here and then flip on Estrada mm -hmm. for one. And then he's going to attack Estrada. I technically get first reaction. Yeah. <laughs> you sure do. You sure do. I'm going to just go ahead and play clear mind. Plus one attack. Mm -hmm. I assume it resolves. It resolves, yeah. Okay. I'm going to play redirect. I'm going to choose this as the new target. You got it. I burn it to the ground. <laughs> Your action. OK. Seth in the pocket here. Being Prince says, oh my god, are we going to see a Nexus victory? I've never seen one. <laughs> Quite possibly, yeah. You handless? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is the greatest moment of my life. It's never been... Okay, Astrida is going to... Uh... Well, okay. Let's think about this. One, two... Astrida is going to skirmish. You got it. Hope for one. Missed. Missed. Okay. Okay. Then, um, we're going to attack good question here we're gonna attack kumaya you got it three take two and then shapeshift gives me disable on that you got it and then last action Sure that I uh, return. Okay. And then we're gonna move. And it's gonna be one, two, three. Come get me. Okay. Fine. I'm over here. Yes. I'm gonna go with Shafati. Mm-hmm. He's going to skirmish. All right, all right, all right. He's melee. Yeah. Mm hmm
Good. We go. Yeah. Pull it. Yeah. For two. All right. He is a mage, right? Mm-hmm. Classic. Then he will try to punch Estrada. Mm-hmm. Let me think about this for a second. I'm hungry. I want them fish. Good questions abound. You having cards is bad. It is not as easy for you to that win if I have cards. That's not what we want. You really do not want to miss here. No. No, you don't. And you got a three attack? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. These are good questions, man. I don't know the answer. Um, I will not do anything. Here we go. Three plus. Somehow. Palpatine. Three plus three. Woo! You Would like me. to draw on that. Uh, draw two. She's out of the game. Okay. Uh, so I skirmished, punched. He will commit from top of deck. Do we go vertical or horizontal from top? From top is landscape, yeah, like that. Right. You're up. You're up. Okay. Um, let's see, Seth. Dave Vedo, if we took a time machine and saw you two play games as young teens, do you all play the same way? Honestly, you can sort of take a time machine <laughs> on our YouTube channel to about 12 or 13 years ago. And it's close. All right, for Seth, we're going to do... Let's see, move... Attack... Could lead. All right, we are going to start out with, I think it's a skirmish, and I'm just not certain yet. We're just going to do a move. Good to move? You're good. There. Okay. Then we're going to attack Seth. You got it. He's gone. Two damage. Drawn two. Then last action. We are going to lead from hand. Back right. Yeah, Jared, it's a real bummer. Talking about the Arkham. So it, essentially what happened, it, hopefully the email explains it, is they print all of the packs in the cycle at once. So like, let's just use an example of, so all of the Innsmouth cycle packs, they print 100 across, and then they ship those over. And like, it seems like the first pack, like 
96 were ordered of those 100. The second pack, like 99 was ordered of those 100. You know, and then it's like, oh my gosh, we're almost out of packs. So then they go back and they're like, okay, we need 100 more of all six, uh, of, all six of these packs in the cycle. They print that, they ship that over, but then the third pack, there's 110 and only 100 available. The fourth pack, there's 120, only 100 available. So basically it will keep getting allocated until that second wave comes in of the extra, you know, X packs. Uh, so hopefully it comes in like before the next one. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer because they, you know, it's unusual, I I'm sure, to have demand go up and up and up for Arkham like it is. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. It's happening. Go with Yami. Ready? Yami. Uh huh. 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 So you're going to try to move through that minion, right? Yep. <laughs> How did I know? Exactly. Uh, it. All right, Yami, do your do your Yamiest. All right, she's gonna move. Boop, boop, boop. Flip on that man mm -hmm. for plus one. Then she's gonna use her. I'm gonna worship. Okay. Targeting you. Mm -hmm. So this plus one in a card. Four. Take three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a real decision. Gross. <laughs> Hate real decisions. It's basically like see how much I can do on that action to decide if I'm gonna try to go gangster on you or not. Mm -hmm. But I'm just gonna punch him in. Okay, hold on a second. You have one activation left after this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Accurate is going to redirect that uh, to herself. Okay. A selfless act. I like it. Hmm. Uh, two plus a card. Mm -hmm. Three total. Take two. Take it two. Yami's activated. Get down with your bad self. Yeah. <clears throat> Good questions abound. All right, let's go move. One, two, three. Let's commit one from hand. Lead. And then uh, let's worship. <laughs> you can't touch me. Mm hmm. But. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kumaya. Mm -hmm. Skirmish. Yeah. No punch. We'll attempt to punch a minion. Hmm. Good attempt. Um, you've skirmished. No punch. You still have a move left. Technically. Mm -hmm. Uh, minion punch is is good. Okay. Three plus two. Five divided by two is two point five. Round up is three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we'll leave from hand. It'll be yours. The table is set. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's interestingly close, actually. I'm I'm like on the verge of losing constantly. <laughs> yeah. But like doing the math, it was uh pretty close. You got one card in hand? Yeah. So you're gonna look out for a big dodge or something. Big, big dodge. Okay, um, I don't know how bad this could be. Um, let 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate a cutie. Yeah, of course. I'm going to react. Uh, I'll just give swiftness. Mm -hmm. Draw a power card. Give myself a rabbit. To the rabbit. Um, I'm going to react with Kanui with a chasm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target this hex. Get down with your bad cell. You're moved. All right. First action. We're going to move. One, two, three, four, five. The pain. <laughs> uh, second action. We're going to worship. Let's go here, just in case that matters. Mm -hmm. Third action will lead from top of deck, in case anything weird happens. All right. Resolution? No funny business, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're pushed in like an old gopher. Number one, <laughs> you're ahead by two. You yeah, have a card? Three to one, and I've got a card. Plus you nine. win by five. <laughs> Good dunk. Nexus victory! Yep. The push list worked, and a three over here. That was that was impressively pushy. That was good. You were pushing hard, and I wasn't just not in the lanes. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That was like aggressive push. Just these old these old Dota bones need to get <laughs> dusted right off. I felt pretty behind early on. Yeah. At that the first turn even was just like. When you, you push both lanes really without even trying. And I was just like, whoa. And then you were very present. But then weirdly enough, uh, you went there. On, on if, the we, third if we get to that thing, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, here, now you're ahead by five. You would have won on either side because you pushed me out. I had a three under. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't have a way to clear enough minions and matter. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, and then I had a two under him, so you'd have to put a three to win the dome. You, uh, the, the aggro wasn't as forthcoming as it has been in the past. So with that, it well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, can you be getting this uh, card that worships immediately changes the the freaking game? Yeah, that that's super. Because the early damage you gave me at all was her, which is right. Because I get some damage on her, but then you make it where I just can't hurt you. Which is a problem. Yeah, like, then it's like when you know that card's in the card pool, especially in a deck, can you even attack? You know, it's like, it's just such an unattractive target, which I is mean, I, a really cool way to do it. I think you can attack if it's your only attack. Mm -hmm. You may as well be doing something with that third action. Um, and then there's ways, right? I have a ton of ways to get you off of next to your illusion, yeah. which are fine. Yeah. Um, especially now that illusions can get hit by AoE effects. Yeah. So like that that's super handy. Because you can AoE something and then you're ready to punch. And they'd have to really keep to worshiping really boogie. To, to make it happen. <laughs> now I'll tell you the uh playing around Kumaya's ability is a whole new ball game. Um because you just have to make sure if you haven't activated her yet, you have to make sure within two of the control point. Or it's just yeah. Too scary. Yeah. I think she's way better in the going second position. Mm -hmm. She's not really... If I had an aggro list, she would not be in it. Yeah. Um, just that last move. If they're three out, they just can't be three out. They just have to now be two yeah. out. So that, that's just annoying every way imaginable. But yeah, that was really good. Which I'm, is wonderful, I'm, man. I'm happy to be back to Sky Tear. I do think that the Outsider is great. Yeah, that outsider is awesome. Very cool positional ability. Can do a lot of damage. Um, different than the rest of them. I think that the Silent Ambassador is at least one thumb up. Yeah, me. super good. And if you are a subscriber, if you're a SkyTerra subscriber, be aware that this is not coming through the subscription because a good many of you probably already had it because you were Kickstarter backers. But it is available for pre-order on our website. So hop in there. It's a secure pre-order. So once you're locked in, there's no refunds until it comes out. So just be aware of that. 
Uh, you're in, you're in. That's because we can't sell it afterwards. So like if we're stuck on inventory because a bunch of people pre-order and then they cancel, uh, we can't do anything with those products. So we're just asking for a commitment 100% and we get you what you need. Uh, you commit to the order. And it's like, what, 15 bucks or something? $12. $12.50. $12. $12. I mean, come on. This is the greatest dealing tabletop right here. $12 <laughs> for a completely beautiful uh, new outsider. It's a Fair. great game, man. This game is so good. It's so good. Thank you so much for the game. I was happy to do this. It's, it flies by. Like, yeah. I'm in it, but uh, that was like an hour and a half plus. Two. And it felt yeah, it just locked in. snapped. I realized, I said it halfway, but it was just like, we get so locked into this game when we're in yeah which is a good sign it's definitely a like we were saying uh it wasn't beforehand on the podcast we were, yeah we yeah. talked about sky tech quite a bit in comparison to some other games but like it's a one to two hour in-depth experience for me at this point i think you could get good enough where it's a lot faster it's um, just not it's it, not there yet honestly it doesn't it's so pretty and it's so fun to just move the the figures around and watch the action it feels like a miniatures game that i want to play it once yeah. And I want to dive into it and sink into it, but I'm not looking to like jam 20 games in a day. Yeah. Hey, I'm playing Sky Terror at the pace right now that I like to play it. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's beautiful. Yeah. Jack well, Mo, hey, thanks for being Jack here. Jack Mo, yeah, Great I appreciate game. that. You've done a phenomenal job again. It's just so good. If anybody deserves just just by the pure grit of their decisions, Jack Mo and Ricardo with PvP Geeks deserve all of it. Deserve it. They have worked harder to maintain this community in an international way and in the face of a freaking pandemic with a game that is devoted to player versus player in person, uh, you know, combat. Uh, it's crazy. So please buy the game if for Check no other out. reason than to support uh, good people uh, really doing a great thing. Making for a great a tabletop. game and a great community. So, hey, we'll see you maybe tomorrow. Star Wars CCG, speaking of old games, 1996. And we're going to be cracking some boxes. Maybe, uh, maybe not. We're probably just going to be playing. Probably just playing. We opened a box of A New Hope last week with the second set. But we do have a box of Hoth back here, just in case. And David uh, sent me a moisture farming deck, so... So you what else, what else is he going to do? I'll have a Death Star, you'll have a moisture farm. Sounds about right. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.